Let's imagine that we have a tool where we can use all the large language models available out there, both ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, and so on inside a single chatbot and use interface. And also upload PDF documents, you can chat with them and even have enterprise connectors like Slack, Teams, Drive, and so on that you can connect together with your chatbot. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Abacus AI tool and also how you can fine tune your own large language models and create specialized AI agents. You can upload your data set with a few clicks. You can train your own models and even deploy them directly with Abacus AI. So let's just jump straight into the Abacus chat LLM. We have all the different large language models available up here at the top. So we have GPT-40, Llama 3, Cloud Opus, Gemini 1.3 Pro, Abacus AI Smog, and you can also add your own chatbots if you have some fine-tuned ones, could also be agents, but I'm going to show you that later in the video where we can upload our data set and also fine-tune custom chatbots. So first of all here, we can just go ahead and use ChatGPT-40. I'm just going to ask it, what is a neural network? And then again, you can choose which of the models that you want to use. All the models, they have advantages and also disadvantages. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. I'm mainly using GPT-40 for general tasks, coding, researching, looking up new things and so on. And then I'm using the cloud model if I'm creating blog posts, YouTube scripts and so on, because I feel it's a bit more human-like and better for written text. And then we also have Gemini 1.5 if you want to have longer context window, if you have a larger task that you want to solve more text, it, we can probably just take like whole documents, code files and so on, throw it directly into the Gemini 1.5 model. So I'm pretty much using those three models and then specialized AI agents and chatbots that you can fine tune on your own data set. So this is pretty cool, pretty fast response. We can also just go up and copy paste the prompt and test it out with one of the other models. So we have this new release, Llama 3 from Meta. So that's also a pretty cool model. Let's just see the responses and we should get it pretty instantly. So there we go, we can see we get a fairly nice fast response. Now I'm going to show you how we can also upload a document. So I'm going to add a new chat. So we can use any of the large language models when we upload our PDF documents in here. Right now I just have this attention is all you need paper, which is about the transformer architecture. And the transformer architecture is the building block for all the large language models out there. So I have this PDF document, we can upload directly into the chatbot as well and ask it different questions. So right now I'm just going to drag it in. There we go. And we can just ask it, what are the authors of this paper? There we go. It's going to retrieve the information from the paper that we have uploaded instead of generating random text. So this is also like how we can create rag based system where we retrieve actual information from our documents and then we base our LLM responses on that. So here we can see the authors. So we have it one to eight and let's just open up the paper to verify that this is actually correct and the correct names. And we can even see that it has correct order as well. So this is pretty cool. We can go in and chat with it. You can choose any of the large language model in here and it's going to generate the exact same results and retrieve the information from your PDF documents. So one of the other cool things about Abacus chatbot here is that we can invite team members. So you can set up different groups, different teams, add team members by the email. And then you can basically just have the whole workspace here together. You can have the chat LLM, all the large language models, the chatbots, agents that you have fine tuned for specific tasks. Invite the users, you can throw in the email here and it's good to go. We have the teams, groups, and also the different connectors. So down here at the bottom, you can see we have these different connectors, Slack, SharePoint, Teams, Drive, and so on. And we also have a bunch of other enterprise connectors. Let's just go in and take a look at that. So we're going to add a new connector over here to the right. We have our team, add team members, and so on. So we have this whole collaborative workspace all working together. So here we have all the enterprise connectors that regular with Abacus. So we have databases, different cloud storages, Google Drive, Jira, Slack, Teams, pretty much all the different connectors in here that we use daily in our workflow. So right now I can just show you how easy it is. We just need to click which of the services, configure it and verify that the service has been connected and that's pretty much it. It's just a few clicks. Right now I'm just going to set up this Google Drive. I'm just going to copy paste this Drive link. So right now I'm just going to paste it in, we hit save, and then we can verify the service in a second. So right now we need to give it access as a viewer. We're good to go here. The status is unverified. Let's verify it. And in just a second, it should change to verified as well. There we go. Now we have connected our Google Drive folder into Abacus workflow here as well. And now we can use that together with all the other things that we have in here. So we have our database connectors, file connectors, application connectors, and also streaming connectors. And here we can see that we have this folder connected. So now we have seen the chat LLM interface with 
all the different options for the chatbots. Now we can go in and see the other projects that Abacus AI has. So we have a bunch of different AI agents. So this is kind of like the direction where generative AI is going, where now we kind of like have these very large generalized large language models, which pretty much just knows everything. But if we want to solve specific tasks, if we have specialized things that we want to solve, then it doesn't really work as good. And you're probably familiar with that. So then we can go in, take our documents, could be PDF documents, databases. We can have different data types as well, numerical data, time zero data, and so on. We can upload it in here. It will take care of all of it. It's just a few clicks. It's going to chunk it up, embed it, and then we can fine tune our own large language model on it and build rag based systems so it can retrieve relevant information from your documents and data. So we can have chat LLM, AI agents, forecasting and planning, marketing and sales, and also vision AI. So we can even have vision data sets so we can go in and create optic detection models directly in here. The other tab here is custom fine tuning of large language models based on your data. So to have vector store as well, it will store all the documents, chunk it up, fine tune your large language models, AI agents, and it will take care of all of it. Once it's done training, we can deploy them directly in here and set up a whole data pipeline with our models. Then we just end up with an endpoint that we can send requests to and get responses back. So it can be used for our own applications and projects out in the real world. So this is how easy it is. With a few minutes, probably within a few hours, if you have a ton of documents, throw them in here and you have a production level AI system up and running. So right now, let's just go in and explore some of them. We can go inside of our dashboard up at the top right corner. We have projects, data sets, feature groups, notebooks, all of that over here to the left. Let's create a new project where we fine tune a large language model. We can also choose the AI agent over here to the right. But let's just go with custom chatbot. Right now, I'm just going to call it PDF. We hit finish, it's going to create our project. So now we can go in and attach existing data sets if we had that, but we can also go in and create new ones. So I'm going to create a new data set. We just have this PDF file that we're going to work with. I'm going to create a new one from scratch. There we go. Let's just call it attention. We hit continue. And then we can just drag and drop our files directly in here. It's going to take care of all the storing, chunk off the documents, connect it, do the embedding, store it in the vector databases, and so on. So now we have our data. We can upload a bunch of different files, multiple files, throw it in here. It's going to take care of it. Right now it's just uploading. Once it's done uploading, we can go in and explore and train our models. So we have step one in here. We can set up the data pipeline. We already did that with our document. So it's just a single PDF file for now. We have feature groups. It's just converting our PDF into that right now. We have our document retrievers. Then we can train our model. After it's done training, deploy it. And we have an API that we can just call directly. So no code at all. Upload your documents, train your model, deploy them all in here on the Abacus platform. So right now let's go in and create our document retriever. I'm just going to select the feature group attention and we can hit create. So right now it's created that we have step one done, step two and also step three. And now we can just hit train models. We're good to go. It will start training automatically. We don't have to boot up any cloud services or our own GPU clusters. We can just hit train models directly. We need to specify the name of our model and then we can hit train directly train model and it's going to start the training. So now we can see that the model is pending on the training. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see we both have our data set, feature groups, document retrievers, models, deployments, and then we pretty much have everything. Training status has started. Once done, we can deploy it with just a single click as well. Then we'll have an endpoint with an API where we can send requests to and get responses back with the responses to our prompts. Our model is now done training. We can see that the status is complete and we can hit deploy directly. So here we can choose between an online batch and online batch plus real time. Let's just go with that. We can choose the model deployment name, estimated number of calls per second. So basically just to scale the resources based on the number of requests. Let's deploy the model. It's going to set up the whole instance, the endpoint, and then we'll get an API that we can send request to. So now we have the whole pipeline. We have our data set connected future groups, document retrievers, models, and deployments. And right now we can see that it's pending and our model has now been deployed. We can go to the dashboard, predictions API, create monitor, but let's now go in and take a look at how we can send requests to it. So this is just a request example. It's just going to throw in what is the meaning of life. We run it through a model, we get the response back here down at the bottom. We can extract the information, use it in our own production systems. So this is how easy it is to use. We have trained our own custom large language model, and now we also know how to deploy it and use it in our own applications and projects. 
So now we're gonna see how we can use it with the chat LLM teams as well, together with all the big guys. So you can choose between all the GPT-4, Gemini, and your own custom fine-tuned large language model. So right now we're inside the chatbot interface as well. Let's just go over, take a look at all the variations. GPT-4, Llama 3, Gemini, and now we also have our own custom chatbot. Let's choose that one and let's go down and throw in a prompt. So who are the authors? of the attention is all you need paper and right now we haven't uploaded any documents it's just going to use the information from our fine-tuned large language model and the documents that we have thrown into it then we can see that the authors of the attention is all you need paper are all of these guys here and that is correct as well is the exact same output as before when we uploaded our own pdf file but now we have our own custom data we have uploaded to abacus ai trained our model, deployed it, and now we can use it side by side with all the other big guys in here. So that's it for this video here. I hope you learned a ton. Definitely go in and check out this Abacus AI tool. We have the enterprise connectors, connect them with your chatbots, fine tune them directly in there as well. Deployment, take your documents, just throw them in there, fine tune them, deploy them, use them in real world AI applications and projects. So I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning. So we also have an AI career program if you want to learn how to land AI jobs and get AI freelance work. I teach you everything in there. We have programs, all my technical courses, weekly live calls, personal help, and I'll love to have you guys in there help you out in any possible way. You can check out the program down in the description and the community, and then I'll just see you guys in there.